Hey guys, Chris McClellan, the Joy Connector, and welcome back to my channel. It's June 1 and we're starting fresh, like we get a chance to every day. Every day, wake up, let go, <laughs> surrender to what's around you, forgive yourself for yesterday, forgive all for yesterday, and let's start over. So with this fresh start, I wanted to chat a little bit about to thine own self be true basically being honest with yourself and when we're not what kind of trouble we get into and when we are what we get out of it so to be really honest with myself means i have to be in a fair amount of discomfort <laughs> because i can't distract myself from what's going on and i have to deal with all of what life has to bring me which gives me a chance to um not just change my attitude, but constitutionally, fundamentally, learn, grow, and change. And that is a beautiful miracle, my friend. That is the path to happy destiny, discomfort. There it is, there's the secret. The path to happy destiny, discomfort. That's what's gonna get you there. Um, notice I'm not saying total agony. But if you've been, like me, in the habit of avoiding discomfort, it can feel terrifying. Uh, a sense of panic can come up. Um, if you've been relying on habits like manipulation, uh, people-pleasing, denial, uh, distraction, doing versus being, that was a big one for me. Um, some discomfort and just sitting with what is can feel kind of scary. So I dare you to be courageous enough to be with whatever comes your way today. And trust is really knowing that you're okay with whatever happens on the other side. We're not in the outcomes business. We're in the action taking business. The inspired, desired, passionate actions. What comes from your heart is really where I'm coming from there. And that's where meditation is so helpful for me because it helps me get clear on what's in there. I can't see what's in my heart all the time. Often I am spending a lot of time in my head. And um, while the intellect and the brain is super valuable, it's most valuable when it's in alignment with my heart. And when I don't know what's going on in my heart or my body, I get sick. I get spiritually sick, I get physically sick, I get emotionally unwell. And that comes out in all kinds of dysfunctional, diseased ways. So what's the antidote here, you guys? Acceptance, acceptance of what's coming your way. Acceptance doesn't mean you have to like it. Acceptance just means you have to be with it, work with it, swim with it, dance with it, move with it. Those are all the ways I like to be with what's going on in and around me and then I sit in some stillness and try to listen to what this thing is here to teach me whatever's in front of me whatever could be uncomfortable sometimes it's other people's feelings like yesterday for me it was watching someone I love who appeared to be pretty sad and allowing them the respect of being exactly where they were in that moment and knowing that they were fine, they were gonna take care of themselves. But then I'm here. If you need me, I'm over here. But most of the time, no one's asking. No one's asking for my help to live as they are. Why? We have everything we need already. I mean, I can offer support, but my job is taking care of me and my feelings, my experience, my love, my management. and. Man, what I learned, <laughs> especially in the past 10 years or so, is um, love is a state of being. It's a mindset. It's, um, it's what I can bring to my actions. Love is not a feeling I get from another person. Love is how I am in the world. And I know that at the basis of love is honesty and truth to myself. So if I'm saying what I think you want to hear on your side of the street trying to take care of you um, versus listening and support and respecting you. <laughs> 
and not taking care of myself, not being truly authentic and confident in myself, then um, I'm not in a state of love at all. I'm not bringing love at all. I'm bringing lying. <laughs> which breeds mistrust, which is a really hard place to have loving relationships, whether they be work um, or family or romantic or anything else. So number one job, be true to you. And the way that I can get there for me is some kind of acceptance and awareness to what's happening inside me. And that's called meditation. So if you want to join me in some meditation, I have a weekly Zoom meditation through Sojourn Healing Collective at 4 p.m. Pacific. And I can send you that link or you can go out to Sojourn Healing Collective um, and they can help you to sign up. Um, send me a DM. I can always send you a message on that or an email at thejoyconnector@gmail.com. I also have a meditation certification program that I'm currently working on and delivering um, a number of different workshops and there's some in-person stuff coming up this summer that starts tomorrow. Joy Connection, um, which is a movement practice, a mindful movement practice. Connects you to you. Just bringing your awareness to what's going on inside the body, heart and mind. And then we'll do a little sit, a seated guided meditation to explore what's in there after we've kind of cleared off and gotten connected. Um, it's a chance for you to get into your joy. Joy and pain are our great motivators for transformation. And you're here to grow. You're here to be. You're here to enjoy, explore. And that often takes some discomfort to get there. So trust you and um, love you and forgive you. And um, I forgive this bug that's climbing up my hair. And we'll be back next week, my friends. So take a nice deep breath. And know that that breath is always available to you at any time. Lots of love. Have a great time. Have a great day. Have a great life. Enjoy what you have today and I'll see you next time.